Hello everyone, this is Varun here. I am going to talk about Vocel Services today. And in this session, we are going to check how Vocel Services is uh, displaying for a customer and how we are going to configure it uh, as an admin on the backend. So first of all, um, I'm going to display you as a customer, like uh, what exactly you are expecting for your customer and how you are planning to sell it and how your customer is getting interacted with the system. At present, um, I'm logged in as a customer on the website and at present I have a couple of services on the page and I'm going to include my first service as add to cart. Uh, I have created as a service inside the backend and uh, with some requirement questions and when someone is going to check out for a service product, uh, they can check out with uh, any available payment method which uh, you have enabled from the WooCommerce and once they check out the order will be the inside the processing at present uh, i have enabled uh, a code snippet on site in the back end where check payment or the cash on delivery methods will automatically convert a hold order uh, to a processing one and that way you can communicate on the threads directly after placing the order I will be redirected to the conversation page and this is a uh, backend setting which can be enabled or disabled based on how we are configuring our services. Uh, first thing is uh, suppose that I have configured a couple of questions uh, as a requirement to start on the order. Uh, right at present I have only one question here nothing to say it is just a sample product. So I can fill this values uh, thanks or anything what you are willing to include. So. Uh, similar to that one, you can include multiple questions uh, to start uh, processing a order. Uh, it depends upon how you have created your service and once the requirement has been submitted, the vendor and the, or the seller or the customer are have a conversation channel, something like this one, and they can start sending message uh, and they can also attach files to that one. Okay, once uh, the message is sent, it will send a notification to the seller that uh, we have got a new message, something um, as a notification there. And they can respond on that one. They will also get an email notification on their mail. Uh, so they can also check it like uh, their customer has uh, sent something to them and they can check it and reply back on the system. And um, you can also attach uh, some files to this one. So I'm just uh, going to display you how the file attachment will look like. So your message will be uh, displayed like this one with your author and profile and when you are going to include multiple files or a single file it will be displayed after the uh, message what you have sent there. And uh, this is how it is going to display for a customer end. So they have placed an order, they have provided the requirement. The order currently is in the processing and once the, uh, the vendor or the seller is going to submit their feedback or they are going to send any final delivery files or any message and um, the customer is going to accept that one. After that one, the order will be processed as a complete and uh, they can submit a review after the delivery or delivery of those services. So this is the uh, front end for the customer end and suppose that they have to check how many order they have purchase, uh, purchased from different different vendors. So you have interface something like this one, there's a service tab where they can list all the orders they have placed so far and they can jump to any conversation page here. This service menu will be automatically included in their uh, my account page uh, as an endpoint and it will display all the pending orders all the active orders in which all the conversation is ongoing. Once the order is completed it will be listed here suppose that this order is completed then it will be listed here same for the cancelled order. Okay. Now I'm going to check how uh, this thing is going to display for the vendor one. Right now I'm logged in as an admin on the website end and inside the dashboard we have uh, options like this one. By default uh, we are enabled the general default options but uh, you, are, uh, you should have enabled uh, to start on the website. So email notification is enabled, conversation mail it, uh, notification is also enabled and uh, notification there will be a pop-up on uh, when they are logged in they, there will be a pop-up that is also enabled. 
it will display like this one so i'm going to the front end and go on the service page if any new order or conversation has been placed there i'm logged in as a service provider because i'm an admin so i have to check all the orders here so once the notification is enabled they will have a pop-up uh, on the top or the below um, like uh, there is a new message on that one and they can click on that one to jump on the conversation page directly and um, for the review synchronization review will be automatically synchronized to the corresponding WooCommerce products or service product to, to, on which all the reviews are we are getting on those conversation pages this is the setting uh, redirect to the conversation page uh, like you had checked uh, when I have uh, placed the order I have directly jumped to the conversation page so this settings can be enabled or disabled it's completely on demand basis suppose that your um, order is not placed or it is on hold obviously you do not need to jump them to the conversation page directly so you can disable these options where you have a some intermediate step or you are looking for some custom thank you page so in that cases you can disable uh, the this setting so in that way after the order placement you are sending them to a thank you page where you are instructing them how to set up or participate in those conversation send email uh, to the additional vendor so on the all the service product what we are going inside uh, creating at the back end we have also um, enabled this setting to include additional vendor or support agent because site admin is not the only one person who is going to reply on those conversation thread so we are providing a option to the admin so they can include different different people on different different products so they can take over those conversation and reply on behalf of the admin for the live conversation it is not something like a live chat it is something like just uh, it will refresh the page when a uh, new message is coming there uh, after 5 to 10 seconds uh, just uh, do not overload the system that's why we had put a delay on that one so it will ping uh, to check a new service via the ajax request after 20 second or 5 second uh, with some duration there enable notification to the additional vendor or the co-author so suppose that you have included a co-author or vendor to the uh, service product so it will also notify them uh, by email that new message has uh, submitted by the customer so they can also are getting an email notification for that one or the regular pop -up notification enable the show additional vendor um, or co-author inside the front end form uh, it is when we are going to use uh, the dukan or any multi vendor plugin in that way we are also uh, going to enable to display um, those vendor or the support agent to make a selection drop down there order service detail page it is a template driven page on which we are displaying all the conversation thread so it is just a default mapping you do not have to make any changes there uh, notice of the payment is not processed suppose that uh, you have placed your order it is a test site that's why when I have processed by the uh, check payment or the any manual payment method then it is processed from hold to the processing automatically I have added a code snippet for that one it uh, uh, worked in the same way so there's a code snippet added there that's why we are changing all the hold to the processing one obviously you do not have to use on use it on your live website so in those cases uh, these message uh, might will be helpful when payment is not processed obviously they you do not want your customer to start communicating with your service provider so in that way they are getting a custom notice payment is not processed please contact vendor or the website admin to check the payment status because in this case the order is still on hold status next is the notice of the service is not active uh, it's the same case uh, you had uh, processed a payment but you have cancelled the payment or the refunded or failed in that case uh, you still have to contact to the site admin to check the status on that one next is the seller role these are the default one when we are using different different plugins they include their own rules like uh, when you are using Dukan they are including vendor role they, when you are using uh, any different plugin they are including store vendor role so we are just uh, included all possible roles uh, what can be included so a vendor can also sell their product when you are using Dukan, WC vendor or WC FM plugins okay send a customer notification if they have not filled the requirement suppose that uh, obviously a vendor cannot start uh, 
responding on your uh, service request if you have not filled your requirement. So uh, the system will automatically set a cron job for that one. So it will send a email notification to the customer. Please submit your requirement. If they have still not filled after the order placement uh, up to 12 hour, you can set a 12 hour or 24 hour. So uh, we also provide a hook, uh, filter for that one. So you can change it uh, in more uh, in, uh, timing limit with that one. Okay, next uh, the auto complete service after one day, 10 days, something like this one. Uh, at some time uh, when you have already submitted a final delivery but uh, your customer is not responding after a certain number of days then you can mark that order as a autocomplete uh, like uh, you have sent the file but uh, you do not have to wait infinitely to make this conversation or order get uh, completed so you can have a default setting as a admin level so you can close all the orders on which the delivery has been submitted after five days or 10 days. It's completely your call how you are uh, setting your store. Okay. And uh, we have also given a uh, style matching with your theme, like uh, all the themes have a different color scheme, or if you want to change some color scheme, so you can change the conversation background color, uh, text color to match with your theme style. So these are the default options what we are providing uh, on the back end of the plugin and uh, we have also uh, like uh, on all the conversation what we are getting like if I'm going to the service provider uh, and opening a specific thread now you can see that uh, the color combination what we have used uh, to match with that one and there are images here these images you can also change them uh, just have to upload those images and those images will be changed for the email notification like uh, obviously the system is already creating couple of mails based on the, um, the customer notification for the vendor notification and you can you can enable these uh, mails and manage them from here submit requirement requirement received service order ready so you can check take a look of those templates and if you have to override them just to override inside the um, template folder and uh, make the, those changes and if you can also enable and disable the, these changes if you are not willing to send those emails and trying to use some third party service like webhook to send those email notification okay uh, next one is uh, like how we are going to interact uh, with the website uh, as a service provider so first thing is um, how a service product look like Suppose that um, I have created a quick product here a couple of minutes ago. Um, so it's uh, almost similar how you are going to create a new product inside the WooCommerce. You have to put a title, some description, pricing, featured image, some gallery image, some sort description. The only thing uh, which is different for a service product is there's a service checkbox. So we have to make sure this service checkbox is enabled. Um, once it is enabled you will have a new section here requirement and um, you can set a number of days after which uh, you are delivering the services you can set your questions here um, like uh, we have enabled couple of question type text area text area with editor text box upload button drop down area checkbox and the radio button so you can use these one to create your questions what you are looking or expecting from your customer to start that service order and once you have framed your question here you can also enable it is required or not required something like this one so they have to fill those values as a mandatory to submit the requirement and uh, this is the section where you can include other vendors who can communicate uh, with your services so suppose that I have included a person who is a vendor and now this person when he is logged in he can also have access on these conversation pages so they can communicate with the customer directly on behalf of you okay so on each conversation you can also reply and your co-author or the vendor can also reply on that one okay after uh, this setup has been done the only change here well, I'm just revising the the service you have to include a requirement in number of days when you are going to deliver this one you can include couple of questions these are the required question or the optional question for the customer and once they fill up the values the conversation thread will start 
um, the conversation and sometimes you are not getting these options like requirement section is not visible then there is a section inside the top screen and you have to make sure this requirement checkbox is enabled okay so this is how a product uh, is set as a service and once it is available as a service from the to the front end then any customer can buy it okay so um i had bought this uh, the same service as a customer uh, in the starting phase of this video and once uh, they had bought that service as a service provider you can access all the order which is placed by any customer here the service provider tab this service provider tab will be available for the site admin or the vendors who are selling their services so it will list all the active services on which you can communicate with your customers so i'm just going to respond on this one which is i had placed couple of minutes ago so i have uh, created my first thread like first message the file attachment thanks for that one thanks for it and uh, i can also mark it as a final delivery it is optional suppose that when my work is done or i can keep this conversation thread as long as it's going to happen so uh, it, there is a no limit how many conversation you uh, thread you are going to make so after the first conversation so in the similar way you can include multiple conversation and they can also su submit any number of messages there and uh, this is the final delivery okay so you can attach some file it is optional and your customer have to approve it uh, it's not like it's getting auto approved when you had submitted uh, it is a final delivery so your customer have to approve it uh, to mark this order complete so if i'm going to check as a customer then they have to approve it and once they approve then this mark uh, this will set as a order completed and after that one the customer can review your services okay so this is uh, you can see that there is a very minimal setup inside the plugin uh, most of the option are by default enabled you can disable them if you want them for any language changes you have two possible approach either override the template inside your child theme or use the loco translate or any transition plugin to alter those email uh, threads what we are sending when a conversation or any step is completed okay so this is how we are communicating on the any particular service order and once um, you have all these notification here uh, let me check okay uh, as a customer in now you can see that uh, i have switched to the customer again so now you can see that there is a approved final delivery this is enabled here uh, varun has sent to you a delivery this is the final delivery so you can accept it there is a option would you like to accept this final delivery or yes or no if you are going to accept it yeah that's good um it will mark this order as a completed and after that one you can review this order um it's completely the first review this is And okay uh, i have submitted my review here like this one so review is displaying here so if i'm going to check uh, on the shop page uh, to make sure it is synchronized uh, with the product or not so new service at present review has been submitted but uh, it need to be displayed here this is the first review so you can see that there's a five star rating and the review is synchronized as well uh, take a look of uh, this demo and you can also play on this demo um, if you go to this website demo website uh, you will get a option like login as a customer so you can place a order you can participate in the conversation like this one and uh, check how it is working for you if you have any question contact us and our team will help on those things thank you